Hey guys, in this video we're gonna learn how to visualize our data using MDB5 charts. If you don't know how to use MDB5, please refer to getting started video. Now, in order to start, navigate to mdbootstrap.com, go to MDB5 section, which is this one, the bootstrap icon, and let's search for charts. I'm gonna go to charts, fundamentals, and let's start with our very basic example, which is bar chart and as you can remember you can use our charts either using data attributes or using html and javascript we're going to use the second option which is more advanced and i'm going to teach you how to use it in this video so in order to start using charts download mdb from your profile and open this in a text editor so this is a starter which you can download from mdbootstrap.com i open it and when you start it, you're gonna see this, this starting screen. So we're gonna get rid of this, and I'm gonna replace it with a, with a grid. So I'm gonna remove this part, and I'm gonna add a row here, and we're gonna change this to call, let's say ten. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna add this first chart over here so i'm coming html code so i'm adding this div over here and i also need to copy javascript so i copy the entire code and paste it as a javascript so now we can see our basic chart let's add some margin from the top here margin top five and let's start customizing our chart. Now, the very first thing you have to know about our charts is that there are multiple options for you to choose from. So we have bar charts, we have line charts, uh, horizontal charts, pie charts, donut, and many, many more. And what is very, very interesting about it is that what you have to know is that you can easily switch from one to the other. So for example, if we want to switch from bar chart, to line chart, what we have to do is only a change type, which is the very first option in our object. So if we're gonna change it to line, our chart will change to the line. Let me show you this that way. So you can see the changes. So we have bar. We can even have a pie chart. So as you can see, this data structure is pretty much the same for all the um, charts, so we can easily uh, use and switch from one to the other. So let's get back to a bar chart for a second. Uh, and as you can see, in case of bar chart, uh, when data have the same colors, uh, we still understand what's going on here, but if we change to pie chart, then obviously we cannot distinguish which um, label is presented on a chart so let me show you how we can change uh, our colors so uh, i'm gonna get back to bar to make it more visible for you and let me show you how to change the color so as you can see uh, our chart consists of so-called uh, data which consists of labels and we have also data sets so we can present multiple data sets on our chart and I'm gonna show you how to do it in a second. But let's start with colors. So in order to change a background color for our data sets, we just need to add new property called background color and set it to some value like red, blue or any other we can obviously use hex values over here as well as rgba so we can set like something like that mm, we can also specify different colors for different data here uh, so let me show you i've prepared this data set so instead of specifying the single color what we can do we can specify different colors and as you can see we these are numbered versions, so every next color is representing the next data on the chart. 
as I mentioned before, we can also use an RGBA colors here to change data. Including transparency level. So we can even make this sets transparent. So let's change our data type to line and let's duplicate our data set. So I'm going to change, I'm going to copy this data set and paste it below. Now let's change some values here. So I'm going to change these values to some smaller ones. And let's change colors for data set. So now, as you can see, we can ha we have two data sets over here. If we don't want to have this background color, obviously we can simply remove it. We can change labels. So let's say it's 2019 and this is 2020. MDB charts allows us also to combine different type of charts on the single drawing. So let's change it to bar and let's add new option here saying type line and change let's change background color of this to red. So as you can see we can have bars over here and line behind that also visible. Now let's get back to line and let's get rid of background color. So now in, or in order to distinguish these two data sets, what we can change, what we can adjust is a border color and set it to, let's say, red. So now we have different color for the data sets. We can also specify a border width. So now it's ticker. Uh, what we can also do, we can also adjust hover border with so how it will behave when we hover over a certain point. And in case of bar charts, this hover will look like this, like that. So as you can see, when we hover over this border, which is 4, uh, is changing to 8. And as you can see, this border is applied only to a given data set. So not to the, not to the, uh, the bigger one from 2020. We can also change hover border color to, let's say, something like this. So now when we hover, it's change its border. Now, except for the data sets options, we can also change a global option. So let me get rid of this uh, additional data set. And let's add some background color here and let's change it to a bar. Okay, so uh, now let's um, learn how to use global options for the entire chart. So in order to do that, we're going to create a new object here. So here we have a object data bar. So this is an object which contains all the data for our chart. And this is the one which we are passing to the constructor over here. And now let's create new one, const chart options. options and here we can start with title so we're gonna say display to true and we want display text like my chart title And now what we have to do, we have to pass this object into our constructor. And as you can see, we receive this chart title over here. Let's increase the size, font size. So that's how we can adjust title. Now there are many other options which we can adjust, for example, legends. 
so we can change its position to right so now it moved to the right we can hide it uh, we can also adjust it labels and change for example font family size and color I hope that now you see how easy it is to adjust charts, how powerful they are. So there are many different options over here. There are many different charts. Mm, and I strongly encourage you to play with uh, our samples because uh, they, you can go with very, very, very uh, simple examples, but also you can go through many advanced options. And please check our API tab because you can find a different options for different chart types like you can have this line chart and as you can see you can change the IDs of uh, axes, borders, colors, fields, background colors, radius and so on and so on. So each chart has its own options and there are also other options which are uh, general for all the charts available. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video.